Well, international reactions have been streaming in over the political development in Kenya. The chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musa Faki Mahamat, has congratulated the people of Kenya for the peaceful election held. The polls were observed by an AU election observer mission led by former South African President Tambombeki. Mahamat stresses that he fully supports the preliminary statement issued by the AU observer mission, giving the electoral process so far a clean bill. He urges the people of Kenya to maintain calm. He, however, expressed deep concern over the immediate post-election day developments, including the rejection of the results by some political actors and subsequent outbreak of some pockets of violence. The AUC chairperson reiterates the African Union's unequivocal commitment to supporting Kenya's government to ensure a peaceful and credible conclusion of the electoral process. Well, the European Union has also been closely following the Kenyan election. In a statement by the EU High Representative and Vice President Federica Mogherini, the EU urges all parties to uphold the procedures as set out by the Constitution of Kenya. It expects claims of a malpractice to be thoroughly investigated and any challenge to the results channeled through the constitutionally mandated judicial mechanisms. The EU has also acknowledged that the role of the Kenyan Electoral Commission has been fundamental with its endorsement of the preparation and all the work done. Meanwhile, the United States has applauded the millions of Kenyans who took part in Tuesday's vote. And just like other countries, the U.S. is calling on Kenyans to peacefully and patiently await the country's electoral commission announcement of official results, which is due today. It's also vowed a support to the Kenya government, saying it stands with Kenyans across the political spectrum who are working together to advance democracy, build prosperity and strengthen security in their great country.